Hello, I'm Robert, and this is Chow Time with Food Hunters. And today's show is about leftover meatloaf. The first recipe is potato bun meatloaf. You need to cut a slice out of the center of the potato, then butter the potato all over and place it in a toaster oven and toast it for about eight minutes. Fry up a couple slices of bacon because everything tastes better with bacon. I'm gonna cut a small slice off this uh, leftover piece of meatloaf. And place it in the fry pan where I cook the bacon. Note, take a kitchen towel and wipe the grease out of the pan so the pan is just coated with the bacon grease. Now it's time to put everything together. We have the potato halves that we cooked in the toaster oven. The butter is dried on the outside of it. Then we put the meatloaf on one half of the potato and on top of the meatloaf we place the bacon and then uh, on the bacon i like to put uh, mustard maybe we should have some mustard here somewhere okay here's the mustard and then once you put the mustard on it helps if you have a toothpick. I don't have any toothpicks. I ran out. But if you have a toothpick to set down or put down through the middle in the center, uh, it will help hold it together. Here's a potato bun meatloaf completed. And boy, does it look yummy. And believe me, this is very tasty and highly recommended. Second, meatloaf nachos. We start with nacho chips. Then crumble warm or cold meatloaf and place it on top of the nacho chips. Next, add salsa. After that, add cheese. And then you have a wonderful, simple treat to eat. Third, we have cucumber bun meatloaf. Similar to the potato bun meatloaf, you cut a slice out of the center and then you put uh, the meatloaf on one half and then put the second half on top. You can also add onions, red onions are my favorite, and pepper jack cheese. This treat is extremely delicious. Fourth, we have meatloaf squares. Now these are a nice snack. To watch with a movie or watching your favorite sports team play uh, it's very simple you take a slice of meatloaf and put it on a cracker and then add your favorite cheese of course mine is pepper jack and a little mustard finally we have the traditional meatloaf sandwich now we've come a long way since the meatloaf sandwich. You've seen many ideas here today. And even though they're great ideas, the meatloaf sandwich is still a wonderful idea also. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our show on creative leftover meatloaf recipes. These recipes came from my newly released book, Meatloaf Madness, 101 Creative Ways for Leftover Meatloaf. You can purchase this book at tastymeatloaf.com. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and tell your friends about this video.
This has been a Chow Time with Food Hunters production.